What's up guys, here's the video, hope you're doing well, today we're back in automation. So in today's video we're going to be building a V12 that was co-developed by Cosworth and Gordon Murray Automotive. For the Gordon Murray design T50 and T33 sports cars. Now what we are going to be doing differently is we're going to be using a lot more power out of this thing. So I'm hoping around a thousand horsepower of a 4 litre V12. It has 4 valves per cylinder, it's got VVTi, it makes an astounding... 725 horsepower or 541 kilowatts torque we're looking at 358 foot pounds or 485 newton meters dry weight of this engine is supposed to be between 162 kilos and 178 kilos or 357.1 pounds and 392.4 pounds what i love about this engine it is a all aluminum dual overhead cam engine, it's got 14 to 1 compression ratio. Note there's a couple of things we're going to be doing differently. We are going to be doing a 60 degree bank angle because the original that was developed by Cosworth and Gordon Murray Design of course is a 65 degree V bank angle and also we are going to be pushing the limits of this engine. What I like about this particular designer's engine, Gordon Murray is one of the legends of car design. This is the same guy who designed the beautiful, astounding, legendary, I can't say enough words to put it into perspective, McLaren F1. Not throwing away cars with big because I mean IndyCar, I mean Ford V8, I mean inline 4, all crazy stuff. Now, this engine we're building today is going to be a lot more powerful and we're going to be running it on E85 of course as you saw me selecting all the parts. Now that we have a little bit of history, but now we can continue on building this thing. As you see there, we are just quickly tuning our header size and exhaust size. Now we're moving back to the head. We are so close to my number. Haha, <laughs> there we go. Yes, over a thousand horsepower. <laughs> can we go a little more? Just a little bit. I need a little more. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. This thing revs to over 10,000 RPM. To be exact, 12,000 up. You might believe that's the exact red line. As you see there, we are beautifully looking good. We are making a boatload of power. Now it's just time to add a ah to the piece. Beautiful orange color to remind you of the wonderful McLaren F1. Why we're going this way? I like it. That way. And I'm nah. I did a dumb. I'm gonna have to reset all of this. <laughs> so that's not nearly as close as it was, and I can't remember the exact numbers because I'm stupid. Anyway, going back here, we're just gonna go and try and reset it. There we go, beautiful paint colors are reset. And you see there, beautiful. Now we can just copy that. Now everything I'm gonna apply it to is gonna be aluminum, except the headers. We're doing a little bit of chrome each there. No communist colors today, only a beautiful orange color, orange and black, because why not? And as always guys, if you have any suggestions for engines, cars or any of that, do let me know down below. It really helps me out whenever I see comments of engines and transmissions and cars and things like that. I do appreciate each and every one of you commenting and also thank you to all the comments. They do make my day and uh, thank you to everybody once again. Anyway, I'm going to be posting a lot more from next week on forward. I'm going to be doing videos on a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday like it was a while back. So yeah, there's the schedule and let's get back to our wonderful video. So we're going to be doing two pulls, one looking at the engine, one looking at the graph. Let's see what this beautiful baby sounds like. I do hope it's good. sound wow this thing sounds really incredible thank you so much for watching do consider to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you wonderful people in the next video thank you guys bye bye